Okay, I'm going to cover four things. Like first, there's a concept: what is real-time analytics? Then, how the streaming uh, real-time analytics works, especially in Zynga. And uh, what I'm going to uh, next this thing is uh, Zynga Streaming 3.0, which is a new technology we developed. And the last topic is going to talk about the challenge and future work. So, um, in terms of the um, concept, what is real-time analytics? First of all, it must be real-time. And the second of all, most common calculation in the real-time analytics is aggregation. And uh, an aggregation normally based on the time window in the real-time analytics. And we are supporting two modes of uh, aggregations. One is uh, continuous time window, one is batch-based time window. Um, I'll show you a picture. This is a picture I can show you that um, um, what is a continuous time window works. So basically, every event uh, coming to the time window, it will trigger the calculation. So as the time goes, new events join the window, and as all the events will leaving the window, and every time when the such thing happened, you got to calculate all the events belongs to that window. So the calculation including something like um, average, maximum, minimum, um, standard derivation, um, count, counter. Um, yeah, so, um, so the biggest challenge we are facing in Zenga is, uh, is a skill with the data volume and the throughput. Um, and how, can we, how can we design a system, you know, can cope with uh, huge amount of input data and also the deal with uh, the rate, the inputting rate is so high and uh, not causing any data delay. It's, uh, it's a big challenge we're solving, dealing with every day. So some example of the, um, um, the real-time analytics we're using um, in Zenga is like how many users are installed um, by different source in the last minute and like what's the average number of messages sent in the last minute for, for this game and to the, to the from game A to game B, right? And and also aggregation calculated by all the um, hierarchical levels. You can specify like kingdom filling, all those things. Um, here's an example we are using some monitoring graph and some uh, streaming um, data reporting for um, data active user and installation and something like um, that. This is already covered. So we we started using the streaming. We started um, use uh, we started streaming development using Esper, open source project. But we quickly hit the uh, limitation. Um, Esper because Esper doesn't scale. Basically, the Esper is, uh, is everything's local. The memory model you can you can utilize is uh, per the local server. Um, you cannot ex um, you cannot expand into a into a, a memory. Um, it's into a cluster of memory model. And the streaming 3.0 is a uh, is a new technology we developed in house. We're using the existing technologies and we're writing our constant Java code to um, to um, lifting the limitation. So basically what we did is if we look into the end-to-end uh, -end streaming processing, we find actually the streaming processing can be divided into three parts. Um, um, the streaming reader, streaming writer, actually I'll show you this picture. The three parts is streaming reader, streaming writer, and streaming aggregator. So different stage, different parts actually has its own, has its own unique um, challenges and the technical challenges. and. Uh, it's better to solve each challenge at a different stage instead of uh, putting everything in one, one box. For example, let's say the first one, the first streaming readers, the most challenge you are facing in this is a throughput. Like, if we can handle the one million message per second, how can we go to next level to five million per second? And the next level, streaming writers, most the technical challenge facing is the throughput of this main cache cluster. The throughput um, in terms of like we need to do the millions by millions calculation every second to calculate the minimum, 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 maximum, you know, counter average in um, in every time window need to be calculated. And the challenge facing the last stage aggregator is uh, given the so huge amount of data, how can we put into the data storage transactional MySQL um, cluster and in the timely fashion? This is the big, biggest challenge we are facing um, every day. And this is something streaming model we are currently working on is publish subscribe model. So we want to provide this flexibility. So user, end user or analyst in Zynga, they can, um, they can specify, um, they can um, specify what kind of event data they want to subscribe and this also specifies the publish channel. So we can publish the event data based on the user requirement. This is more on the flexibility end. Okay, challenge and future work. So we need to, um, support more published channels. Um, I, I heard many people talk here talk about um, H -H -H base, so maybe HBase and Hive, we can look into that as well. And also supporting the complex uh, event processing language. Okay, perfect.